that uh, lots of people will be flicking straight to the weather forecast this morning because <laughs> is that sunshine going to continue? Stav's with us under blue skies. Stav, morning. Good morning to you, John and Tina. Yes, it is going to be another fine, dry, sunny day for many of us. It's not starting off that way, though. We do have quite a bit of cloud around. Yesterday's temperatures were very high again across the southeast, particularly into Kent there, 35 degrees, 33 for London. That's because we had a bit more cloud around, but it was very warm pretty widely across England and Wales. Much cooler, fresher for Scotland, Northern Ireland. Very pleasant conditions there in the strong August sunshine. Today as well, we'll see that cloud melt away. There could be increasing amounts of sunshine. It is pretty cloudy, though, to start with this morning. Central Wales, the Midlands, Northern England, Eastern England too. One or two light showers in there and quite a noticeable breeze coming in off the North Sea. But you'll notice that cloud will start to melt away as we head on into the afternoon, just leaving patches of high cloud around. But there'll be increasing amounts of sunshine. A bit more of a breeze, I think, today coming in off the North Sea. So cooler down some of these North Sea coasts. High teens, I think, for most. Head further in. I know it really will be quite hot again. The Midlands southwards, very humid too. The low to mid 30s Celsius, very pleasant across Scotland, Northern Ireland, the low 20s there. Now, as we head on into uh, tonight, it looks like it'll stay dry for most. We'll still have that onshore breeze across eastern areas, and we could start to see a few showers or thunderstorms develop across northern and western areas, but they will be fairly isolated. It will be cooler across northern areas than it'll be in the south. Again, 19, maybe 20 degrees, typical tropical nights continuing there. Now, for next week, it looks like it's going to stay pretty warm and humid with plenty, plenty of sunshine, but there is an increasing chance of thunderstorms developing. Where you catch one, they really could be quite heavy, but the devil is in the detail with where they form. On Monday, the current thinking is they'll start to form out towards western areas. They could be really heavy with torrential downpours, plenty of sunshine elsewhere, and again, it's going to be hot and humid at the mid 30s Celsius in the southeast, a little bit higher as well for the north and west. It looks like that humidity will start to push into Scotland and Northern Ireland as we move out of Monday into Tuesday. That's because we've got this thundery plume moving out of the near continent, the humidity being built in there from Biscay. So for Tuesday, again, it's going to be another warm day, lots of sunshine around, humid for most, hot in the south. Probably threat of most of the thundery showers will be across the northern half of the country to begin with. And then we could start to see some perhaps developing across southern and eastern areas. So the devil is in the detail, like I mentioned. You have to stay tuned to the forecast day by day for the detail of the storms. A very warm and humid day to come. It stays like that throughout the week as well with further thunderstorms in places. But you will notice the temperature slowly starting to come down as we move towards the end of the week. Tina and John. Staff, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. See you later.